Welcome back guys, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well. Today we're gonna to talk about how you repair a balancing connector or balancing lead on a battery like this. It could be any battery, any battery that has a balancing lead. In this case, you can see it doesn't have a balancing connector at all because the actual balancing connector had been completely destroyed by a propeller on the quadcopter that I was using it on. So what I've actually done here is just completely isolate all these wires as best as I could out in the field um, and just snipped off the balancing connector completely so there's no chance it can short or anything like that because if you do catch one of these balancing connectors with like a propeller or something else and it compromises the the kind of plastic insulation between the connectors and that is you know it's not great it's not a huge amount of plastic um, insulating these wires anyway so, you know, things could get really bad really quickly. Now, these wires are very small and this battery is very powerful. So chances are if any of these wires actually touch each other, then it's going to probably just vaporize and just be act a bit like a fuse wire. But you don't want to take that chance because any little kind of short circuit could create a flame and it could ignite something flammable in your backpack. So if this happens, don't put this battery back in your backpack. Carry it home safely as best as you can and just make sure none of these wires touch. So come on to a question on Discord. We were talking about it. I was in the FPV channel um, talking to FPV TV, who's become a good buddy um, on there. But basically the question came up is how do you connect a new balancing lead to this if all the wires have come off and you don't know which ones go um, to which place? So that's what we're gonna do today. So over to the workbench here, we've got our six cell battery and we've also got a replacement 6S connector as well. Make sure you get the right connectors. You can easily get these on Amazon. Um, but this is for a six cell and it's got seven wires. Why has it got seven wires? Because it's a 6L battery. Well, I'll show you why that is in a minute and hopefully it will become clear. But the next thing we need to do is find out which one of these wires is connected to which cell in this battery pack because there is a particular order that they go in. Now, if we look at our balancing connector here, the way it works, and this is usually the case for any battery, any lithium battery that has multiple series cells connected, you normally have some sort of balancing connector. If it's an e-bike battery, then it's basically inside the battery um, connected to a BMS. But normally you have a balancing connector on RC batteries so that you can actually access each cell and make sure you're not gonna overcharge one cell. Now, the way it works on these balancing leads is you have this red here. This is the final positive for the battery, so you'd expect to see your full pack voltage on this red wire, the full positive pack voltage on that wire. Now, the furthest left is actually the, the negative, so basically it's the same as the negative on the main battery lead there. So in theory, if you put a multimeter across this first black wire and the last one in the, in the chain here, this red one, you should see the full um, voltage of the pack, the current pack, which is you know 20, going to be around 22 volts for a six cell battery. Um, the ones in between are actually the series connections going to each um, join. So each one of these cells is connected in series, that's why it's a 6S battery. Um, that's cell number one, so it will be going cell number one, and there'll be a connection between cell number one and cell number two. But basically they're connected in this sort of like daisy chain um, to get you the full voltage. The first one is obviously going to be the negative. The next one is going to be cell number one connecting to cell number two. And then the next wire along is going to be cell number two connecting to cell number three and, it, and so on until you hit 6S. So basically each one of these wires is a series connection and it always ends up there's, there's one more wire than there is the S count of the battery. <laughs> so the first thing we need is a multimeter set to DC voltage. Now what we're gonna do on this positive wire, we're just gonna strip the end off here. These silicon wires are great because you know this will never melt. What I need to do is I just need to find out which one of these black wires is the final negative. So if we actually go here and hold this red terminal on there and then the black on there, you'll see we've got a full pack voltage of 23.6 volts so now we need to find which one of these wires also gives us that 23 volts and that will tell us which one of these wires is actually the first one in the chain i.e connected to this same wire as the negative on there so i've gone for the first one in the sequence like how this thing's been mechanically put together but it doesn't necessarily mean that these are in the right order there's a good chance that they would be but you can't really take those chances so i've tested those two and we're getting basically uh, 23.7 volts, 23.6 volts there. So that's showing the right voltage. Look, just to show you, if we try another one, it will be one cell 
effectively one cell down, so 19 volts. So what we can do with the balancing connectors, you can connect the red to that, absolutely fine, that goes without saying, and then the first black in the, in the sequence to that one there. So I am gonna trim this balancing cable, so the same problem doesn't happen again. We don't have this massive long, you know, balancing cable sticking out that's gonna get hit by a prop, something like that. So that should be enough. I've cut up some little pieces of heat shrink tubing, which are just gonna go over each wire so we can insulate our connections once it's done. It's not the most prettiest thing in the world um, and it is gonna look like it's been repaired, but you know, that is just how it is. Nice hot soldering iron and I'm using some decent TBS solder here, um, tin lead combo. Tin that wire and then also tin the wire, the balancing connector. And then we can just join those wires together nice little joint there and just use a soldering iron or a lighter or something else just to just to shrink that down and that is the first one done all right let's get the black one done so you can see the black's done now so we can test out this next wire here so if we hold the negative terminal onto the final black there this one here should be showing the voltage for a single cell which is there you go 3.9 volts in this case because it's quite charged so we can connect this one now to this next one along in the line. So it looks like they are in order on this battery here, but we won't chance it. We'll test each one so I can show you, you know, exactly what they're supposed to read. So that one's done now. So if we move on to the next one here, so we'll just check that with the multimeter. Negative goes to the first black there, and then we'll check our next one along in the sequence, which is this one here. Um, I haven't stripped that wire off. So that should show the voltage for two cells, which is about right, 7.8 volts there. So you can see what's happening here, we're adding up. So we'd have nothing obviously on that first wire, um, the voltage for one cell on that second wire, and then the third wire along will be showing effectively the voltage for a two cell pack, then three cell, four cell, five cell, and then six cell on there, on the final red. Right, next one's done. So I'm gonna go over to first negative and then check that there. So that is the voltage for three cell, four cell, five cell, six cell. So we're on target, everything's looking good. Okay, so they're all done. I actually didn't check the last two because I'm gonna check them at the end and see. We'll just do this bit of heat shrink on this last one and um, we'll see. On our balancing connector, reading from left to right, so if I get my negative probe and put it on the first pin of that connector there, and then the red one on the next one along, we should see the voltage for one cell, 3.9 volts. Move it along to the next one, keeping the black in the same position, 7.89, that's two cells. Next one along, three cells. Next one along, four cells. Next one along, five cells. And then the final one, which is six cells and the total voltage of the pack, 23.6 volts. Now the other thing you can do is go along in pairs and check the voltage of each cell in the pack. So that's cell number one, then move across to the next pair. That's cell number two, that's cell number three, that's cell number four, that's cell number five, and that's cell number six. And then the last check, we can use one of these little cell checkers or cell balancers, and then just plug this into the um, device, and then we should see all those cells there. So that is wired up absolutely correctly. And actually, it's pretty much perfectly in balance. No problem at all there. That was a little bit low, but that's okay. So yeah, guys, that is how you do it. So yeah, this battery is all ready to go again. The balance lead still is a little bit too long for my liking, but I'll just have to remember to secure it down properly next time. As I say, most of these balance connectors are wired up the same way um, on batteries. It's become a bit of a standard, but if you're looking at bigger batteries, like for e-bikes, e e-scooters, e-skateboards, things like that, you might find, you know, if you open these batteries up, they've got some weird connectors or maybe even two connectors. That's probably because, you know, you've got a bigger number of cells so you can't fit you know 14 cells on one of these connectors they don't make one big enough so generally they split them over two different connectors so if you get stuck maybe join our discord and um, ask questions in there and we should be able to work it out anyway i hope you found this one useful guys happy flying e-biking e-skating whatever you're doing that's electric and we'll catch you next time